Hey guys, welcome back again. So many of you are willing to start their blog, but the most of the times you guys are stuck is what exactly you have to write for a particular keyword. In other words, we call it as in search intent. Because for each and every keyword, Google is ranking certain or particular type of post. And that post we will call it as in search intent. So if you will fulfill, because most of the time what we have seen is people are writing a content a lot and lot, but they are not getting any organic traffic. What is the issue with that? It's because they haven't written the content which Google is looking for. Just take an example. If you are going outside, somebody is asking you, where is the garden? And you are guiding him, go that place where the garden doesn't exist. So in that case, what happened is the people will not reach to their destination. The same thing happened here in the search engine optimization. If Google is telling you, you have to come here, but you are not going to that direction. Instead, you are going to a different direction. And that's why you will not get any sort of a traffic. So what is a search intent? How exactly you will find out search intent? What exactly Google thinking about a particular keyword? That's what I'm going to cover here in this video. Hey guys, my name is Kirti Shwas. I'm from bloggingvoice.com. On this channel, I do provide videos all about blogging, affiliate marketing, passive income, and how to make money online just sitting in your home in front of your laptop. So if you're really interested in getting such kind of videos in the future as well, make sure you subscribe to this channel click to the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe and share this video as much as possible. Without wasting time, let's go to the screen and there we will talk about what is search intent with the help of certain examples. So I'm here on the screen. Let's take an example, guys. I will talk about my own website and probably you guys are aware most of the time. This is soundproofidea.com. Okay. On this side, I do provide content all about how to do soundproofing and lot many other ways. Okay. So now what I will do is let's go to the Google and try to search certain keywords. How exactly I'm writing for a particular keyword. So in that case, let's take an example. If you wanted to soundproof your room. So I'm not sure what exactly I have to write into that. When I'm talking about what exactly uh, that does, uh, what does it mean is let's search it. So you will get an idea. So soundproof room. I just type my keyword just to understand what Google is thinking about. Okay. So I just hit it enter. Now what you have to do is whenever you will finish with your keyword research. Now, if you don't know how to do keyword research, there is a, a video in the I button. You can follow that video. Okay. So now I have typed here as a soundproof room. Now what I will do is let's scroll down and try to understand what exactly ranking in the top. 10. Okay. So I'm scrolling it down and there you can see the first post, which is more of a feature snippet, which is ranking is talking about how to soundproof a room. So that means this is a how to guide, how exactly you have to do that. If I will scroll down how to soundproof a room, if I will scroll down how to soundproof a room, how to build a soundproof room, how to soundproof a room, how to soundproof a room. So out of this, all the top 10 ranking pages, what exactly you got? You got to know like this post is more about you have to write about how to content. Okay. You have to tell people this is the way these are the way using which you can do this soundproofing of your home. And this is what we call the search intent. Instead of this, if you will start writing about what is soundproof room, your post will never rank for that keyword. Why? Because Google is not even ranking any sort of such intent keyword. Only post or only pages which are ranking related to this keyword are more of an how to content. So if you will write in how to content better than existing one and will build a certain good backlinks or if you have your site which has a good enough and best quality content, you will be having a more chances to rank higher in the Google. Otherwise, what happens is if you are written what is soundproof room in that case, guys, what happens is you will not rank for this keyword. Okay. And maybe you have written the great content. Okay. You may not have done well marketing. You got proper signal from various sources. But still you will not rank. The reason is very simple because you have not targeted the user intent. Let's take an example of another keyword, which is insulation material. Okay. If I will type here insulation material and if I will search here, now let's see what exactly Google is ranking. So if I will scroll down there, you can see the five common thermal insulation to a top five insulation material, insulation material, insulation material. What is the best insulation material? A guide to insulation type, five most common thermal insulation. So out of 10 results, six to seven results are more talking about the five types of different insulation materials. So this is more of a product review kind of post. So if I will open any of this, let's say I have opened this one. Within that, you must be able to see maybe top five product they have suggested. There you can see. They have given here a top five types of insulation material, mineral wood, fiberglass and polystyrene and cellulose. 
and within that you can also provide the link of the product as well so in this way guys this post is not about a how to content but more about explaining user the types of content so now if you have started writing about bass insulation materials you have to buy there is a chances like you will not rank because here what exactly google is ranking is more of an informative content which actually explaining about the types of insulation material so this is called in another word this search intent and i hope guys you got a good idea how exactly you have to do the bass research let's take an example recently i have written this guide right bass exercise bike for home so if i will go to google and type here bass exercise bike okay if i will search this one probably you will see there are many many posts are already ranking bass exercise bike for home if i will open this in a new window obviously it will be a post which containing about the products right so there you can see if you will scroll down if i will scroll down scroll down there you can see this is number one post which is talking about a certain product sending user to the amazon this is another product sending user to the amazon instead of this if i will just writing about exercise bike what is exercise bike and everything for the keyword bass exercise bike probably i will not get ranked and that's why guys this written content on my side is more about the amazon affiliate related products where i'm suggesting people the top seven best exercise bike if you will scroll down you will see here right so this is uh, this is the products which i am giving as in review so the people can buy and they can get uh, the products as well so this is what we call the search intent in similar way guys if you are still struggling to rank your website in the google probably you have to do this research in the beginning itself whenever you will get your keyword i hope guys this video has been helpful for you and such kind of videos i will keep uploading on my channel do visit bloggingos.com and recently i have launched more than 70 plus seo tool to make your journey easier this is the link you can directly access or you can go to the bloggingos.com using which you will get a good idea how exactly where exactly your keyword is ranking what are the backlinks algorithm checker tool and many more tools i will make a dedicated videos in the future as well so this is all for today let's see you in the coming future videos thank you very much for being a part of this channel and have a good day